Good morning, good morning. Good morning, good morning to you and you and you and you. Or however that song goes. What's up, guys? Liam here, and welcome back to LSJ TV. To start off today's video, we are going to do some cardio. Actually, before we get into that, guess my weight in the comment section down below from the weigh in that you guys just saw. Bear in mind the food that you have seen, but also bear in mind my complete and utter shreddedness when you make your educated guess. Okay? I'm not going to tell you. I'm not even going to tell you if you're right in the comment section down below. I'll just give you hints. Okay, drop this video a like, comment down below, subscribe if you are new. We are starting off with some cardio today, fasted cardio, because if you're not doing cardio fasted, you clearly don't know anything about what you're doing. You're a rubbish coach, you're a rubbish athlete, and you don't know what you're doing. It has to be fasted, just to clarify. That's a joke. Which does also mean that we are currently filming the Ghost Burn Black video, as requested within the Chips Ahoy chocolate chip cookies video. That video is coming, so let me know in the comment section down below when you would like to see that. I'm going to set my Apple Watch up and do around about 250 active calories, which will normally be around about 300, 350 complete calories. I'm not supposed to be doing cardio today, but I'm filming this video. That's why. Anyway, on with the freaking day. Drop the video a like, will you? Have you done it already? Because I need it to fuel my ego, you know? Let's hit 75 or so. Nice one, thanks. I do enough to make that dramatic. Okay. Tell you what, everyone. I'm getting to the point where I'm going to have to start wearing a freaking headband for, for cardio. This lockdown haircut got my fringe looking long. If you remember, a few months back, I actually said I wanted to grow it. Lockdown did that for me. So now, we're actually due another skin fade. I might get the old man to do it in this video. It might be in the next one. We don't bloody know. But look how long my fringe is. If I actually pull it down, this is gross because I'm sweating. Ghost band black works, by the way. There we go. If I actually push it down like that, check it, man. Down to my friggin' nose. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. I'll tell you what else is brilliant. Ghost band black and my friggin' Apple Watch. Love it, man. I've earned myself some good grub now. So, rumor has it, People, you like my scarf, it's, it's actually my Alpha Elite jumper thing, long sleeve that I was just wearing. You never would have known. So, like I said a couple of videos back, um, I've heard through the grapevine that gyms will be opening fairly soon. I think the day after that, or a couple of days after that, they kind of officially announced it in like, you know, the daily kind of parliament speech that they do. They kind of pretty much said that as of next month, like pubs and all of that kind of stuff, um, can start to reopen. So gyms will be open fairly, fairly soon. So I figured I would get ahead, and actually this is a very highly requested video, and make this one. Um, so, I've kind of designed like a few few kind of steps for you guys, um, but I've pretty much said it this entire time, like when the gyms reopen, follow X, Y, Z steps and you should be okay. Um, number one, keep your diet in check. Don't just think because you are going back to the gym that you can then just eat what you want. I mean. I, if you want a pizza, have a freaking pizza, you do you, but you know, just don't splurge completely and don't binge, you know, it's really not worth it. You will only wind up regretting it, you know, a few weeks, a few days down the line. So keep your diet in check as you have been doing so far, okay? If you haven't, use this as your excuse to get it back in check before you start going, get into that good habit, because if you ask me, that's the harder part. Everybody loves training. If you're watching this video, you probably like training, but the diet tends to be the harder part. So get that in check first before you go back, that's one bad habit out of the way already. So, with that said, I will be teaching you, lovely people, how to make the perfect protein oats. First off, you're gonna want 60 grams, so I have my scales set here, like so. I'm gonna pour that out, boom, 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 boom. 39, 50, a little more, 57, 59, 60, boom. It's that simple, okay? So you're gonna use the same jug, you're not all the same bowl or whatever. Go to your tap or your hot kettle. I use boiling water, this is like a boiling water tap. And this is going to be filled until the same pot or same jug weighs about 400 grams, there or thereabouts. So there's 327. We're gonna go for just a little bit more, like so. 
382, boom. That'll do us for now. Just remember people, you can always add a little bit more, but you can never really take it back out again. So be careful when adding your water. Now the next mistake that people tend to make is going straight into the microwave with it, okay? Give it a minute, give it some care, give it some love, give it a stir until it starts to kind of thicken up just a little bit. You can see it's now started to go just that little bit kind of creamier. The, the actual water has kind of changed color a little bit as well. That is what you want. That is about right. Smooth out any lumps that you have, okay? And then you put it in the microwave. 30 seconds, check it, stir. 30 seconds, check it, stir. Sometimes that will be enough. Other times you might need to put it in for a little bit longer. It depends on the kind of oats you use, how much water you use, all this kind of stuff. So experiment, but start off with 30 seconds. Do not overcook the oats. Give the oats love like it is your baby, like it is your child, and you will come out with the perfect recipe in the end. Boom. Okay. See how that's thickened up ever so slightly? That might be good enough for some people actually, but for me, I like it a little bit thicker. So, another 30 seconds and we'll go again. See how that nearly spilled over? Keep an eye on it, keep an eye on it. Okay, that is perfect there, ready to add the protein. Bear in mind that this is gonna keep on cooking as well. As you, it's in a hot bowl or a hot pan or whatever, it's gonna keep on cooking. So you want it a little bit runnier than how you would actually have it. That then allows you the leeway to add in your favorite flavor of protein. Now, some people add this in at the start. I have found it personally a lot better cooking, especially at home in the microwave, adding it at the end. There's lots of stuff going around online about it ruining the molecules of the protein and all this kind of stuff. I don't buy that personally. If you want to put it in at the start, then put it in at the start. But I personally put it in at the end. So a nice heap scoop to go on top. And we're about there. Bosh. And just for reference, I've actually still got it on the scales. That is a 40 gram scoop that I just put in there. So if I was really wanting to track it, I could put 40 grams in on my fitness pal of salted caramel way, and that'd be that. And so, once that is all stirred in like so, you will have the perfect consistency, the perfect oats for yourself. Obviously, you can add a little bit more water, bear in mind uh, that will get you a lot more volume. I actually use a lot of water and give it a lot more time to cook because then you just get more volume for the same amount of, of oats and the same amount of calories. Think about it, if you've got the extra five minutes to cook your oats for a little bit longer, do it because you will get more food, that is essential when you are dieting, just to feel a little bit fuller, you know? It's literally just tricking your body. You have more mouthfuls, more water, more porridge, more volume. Win, win, win. That's what will, of course, be accompanied by an excite. Going down like so. I flipped that the wrong way around. I'm gonna go again. There we go. Boom. Confidence is key when it comes to doing that, people. Ah, sweet taste of body power. So, you've been out of the gym for a while now, right? God knows how long. You've lost count of how many days. You've lost count of how long it's been. Completely understandable, right? Now, we have our diet in check with the perfect protein oats. Plenty more examples to come in future videos, so stick around if you are new here. Subscribe if you are new to see plenty more advice before the gym's fully kind of open again. But as you know, diet is a massive, massive part but it's not the part that we all enjoy. We all enjoy a pizza or a KFC and all that kind of stuff every now and then. So that is gonna happen, that is gonna slip. But the most important thing for the majority of you guys watching this video will be your actual training. I mean, arguably it's the diet, but right. The, the thing that you care about the most is your training. You enjoy training. That's why you're watching this video, okay? If you are wondering what to do because your gym is open, it's different social distancing rules and all this kind of stuff, usually you'd go with a buddy maybe and you're not allowed to. I don't know how it's gonna work. No one knows how it's gonna work work just yet. So obviously bear in mind that this advice is set to change kind of thing. I maybe do an updated video in a couple of weeks when they're actually open. But one thing that I would advise you, whether you've been out of the gym for three weeks, three months, three years, or three freaking decades, I would always, 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 always recommend going back into the gym or going into the gym for the first time on a full body plan. Three days a week, whether you want to do three days a week and do that twice over, well, I wouldn't really recommend that, but design a specific plan that is three days per week, full body push emphasis, full body pull emphasis, full body leg emphasis. That plan, if you design it well, if you design it properly, will allow you to stimulate and hit all muscle groups to, 
twice per week at a bare minimum, right? Let's say arms are a friggin' weak point and you wanna bring them up, you can do them in every single workout, but actually make sure you are stimulating the entire body. I keep doing this, why am I doing this? Make sure you are stimulating the entire body in every single session, okay? So one, you could have a push emphasis, right? Stimulate the entire body, make sure you get some legs in there, perhaps some squats just off the top of your head, I don't know. Then stimulate every single muscle group, whether that's through a compound or even a simple isolation movement, like a friggin' bicep curl. Just work your entire body, okay? The same with the pull. If you want to focus on the deadlift for that day, but then make sure you are stimulating the chest by doing chest flies or whatever, do it that way. Then follow that up with a leg emphasis workout where you focus heavily, this can be your squat day or something like that, right? But then you make sure to do some lap pull down or some pull ups or something. You get the point, you get the drift, right? This will ease you back into the gym without overdoing your body and you can build some serious strength gains on just the foundation lifts. You don't see Ronnie Coleman, one of the greatest or arguably the greatest bodybuilder of all time. You don't see him on the latissimus dorsi 3900, do you? Doing this friggin' one arm round the corner, twist through your leg crap. No, you see him barbell squatting 800 friggin' thousand pounds. You see him barbell rowing like 9,000 kilos. You see him bench pressing about 1,200 tons right you get the point do the basics 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 whether you are beginner advanced if you've been out of the gym for a while or it is your first time walking through the door do the basics and do them well get them down spend years potentially perfecting the basics perfecting those neural pathways and all that crap scientific crap that you don't really need to know just do the basics well and you will see progress it is as simple as that Fall into you. Alright, alright, alright. So, we have just finished up a workout which you will see over the next couple of days. Charlotte is here behind the camera. Hello. Say hi, babe. Hi, guys. And we have just finished another a video. So, stay tuned for that over the next couple of days. Let me know in the comment section what you think that is going to be. So, the final tip I will give you for today's video will be to let me just perch myself here. How's that look, babe? Is it okay? You're fine. We good? We in shot? Okay. Yeah. Smashing. The final tip I will give you guys is just to not overcomplicate. If you have your diet in check and you have your training in check, that will do it for the most part, okay? One massive mistake that people will make is that they are gonna overthink freaking everything. Do not do that. Do not be that guy, do not be that girl that overthinks it to the point where they get so worked up and then they don't go because then you're gonna make no freaking progress, are you? So go, just do the basics, do them well, don't eat like an idiot and you will be fine. It is that simple. Okay, so that concludes today's video, everybody. That concludes the tips for getting back for when your gym opens in 2020. I hope you have enjoyed it. I hope you took something from it. If you would like me to make something slightly more detailed, maybe, um, then I don't know, I well, can't really get much more detail, can I? But I could do it again, maybe closer to the time. Let me know in the comment section down below. I hope you have enjoyed today's video. If you have, please let me know by leaving a like, leaving a comment down below, subscribe if you are new. Stay tuned for future content. We have got some sick stuff planned to say the least i appreciate you all i hope you have enjoyed today's video like comment share subscribe all that youtube jazz together we will grow let's keep building that freaking momentum and i will see you in the next video